Mr. Maxim, what is so unique about uh, Maximilian uh, uh, London and who are your stakeholder or your clientele precisely, uh, unique clientele? They, they come to you and they, they always, they, as I uh, understood from you, you have repetitive uh, clientele and VIP clients. Look, uh, um, first of all, uh, I, I have to explain, you know, talking the fashion language, uh, we are not a Pret-a-Porter product. Uh, we're not a, a ready product to wear. But uh, we are mostly uh, a tailor-made product, tailor-made atelier. We listen in our clients, we're working uh, on every deal face-to-face uh, -face with the clients. We're creating with our clients our product together. Okay. Together, you know, we, 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 uh, we have a lot of different gemstones, rubies, sapphires, emeralds, pink diamonds, blue diamonds, different color of diamonds, white diamonds. We create... Uh, tailor-made product okay. you know it's like a uh, sumizura in, in oh, it, okay. italian you know or uh, bespoke, I, I, bespoke. In, in england yes uh, so th that's make us different from the other brands and uh, i would say that uh, the maximilian london it's not a mass production you know mm -hmm. with all my respect to cartier van cleef mm -hmm. uh, boucheron Winston, uh, Tiffany and Bulgari, all the brands, you know, they produce in, uh, it's like a mass production, you know, besides the fine jewelry, high-end jewelry, there's a lot of mass production, yes. you know. So in our case, we, we want to produce product which makes uh, our client different from others. For example, look at the Middle East, you know, if you look at the Middle East, you know, Every, every woman, not every second, but every woman wearing uh, Cartier, Van Cleef, Messica, Bulgari, you know, uh, 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 Marley, you know, it's like a, like a set, you know, everyone have. Why? The answer is very simple, because of the Instagram. You know, so Instagram is a, it's a very media. Po social media, it's a very powerful platform, yes. you know, which uh, pushing people and then uh, a lot of people, they don't have their own taste, you know, they just want to be, they have money, but they want to be similar, similar like, like others. Oh, you know, she's a, a blogger, you know, she's a, a brand, yeah, so. she's wearing this brand, so I have to have the same. Yeah, yeah. And um, so in general, I would say that okay. the Maximilian London, it's a, it's a product for, for those of people unique. Sometimes one, one of the kind in the world, you know, PS Unique, is for those of people who want to be different. Mr. Maxim, uh, we would like to know about Maximilian London presence in UAE and, and Dubai Mall, and what are your future plans? Uh, I'll try to make it short. Yes. Yeah, first of all, our flagship store boutique in Middle East located in, in the G level, ground level of the Dubai Mall. Mm -hmm where the main entrance, from the right hand side it's a Tiffany, from the left hand side is Cartier, okay. where the next uh, boutique after Cartier, okay. and our next neighbor is Van Cleef and Arpel. So we, to be between Van Cleef and Cartier, you really have to, um, to be you know, on Absolutely. the high level, yeah, okay. high level. And our neighborhood, it's uh, Bulgari and okay. uh, David Morris, so and it's a shop park, yeah, in the middle of the top brands, yeah. And, um, uh, we're very happy about our partnership, uh, cooperation, you know, with uh, the Dubai Mall, mm -hmm. which is the biggest mall in the planet Earth for today. And uh, I don't even see any other projects which is coming on the market, the real estate market, which is uh, at least closer to the Dubai Mall. Okay. So Imar doing a fantastic job and uh, the new management of Dubai Mall, uh, very nice, uh, you know, European people, uh, Portuguese. Mm -hmm and uh, we have a lot of uh, good collaboration, relationship. good relationships, yes. And I tell you, um, well, Dubai Mall is a fantastic traffic. It's a, yeah. If you don't know the figures, it's a 95 million people a year wow. of, uh, of the visitors. You know, it's a, more than any airport in the world. So um, our strategy, we, we want to open a boutique of Maximilian in, uh, in Qatar. Okay. We, we need to open a Maximilian boutique in, uh, in Riyadh, you know, because Saudi Arabia is a new destination. It's, uh, it's a very everybody, heard, everybody heard about uh, uh, the, uh, the strategy yes. 2030. 
and um, uh, we definitely uh, will open our boutique in Abu Dhabi and uh, we're going to be presented uh, in all GCC countries uh, like uh, Oman, like uh, um, uh, Bahrain, mm -hmm. like uh, Kuwait, okay. you know, but for the boutiques, you know, to have our own boutiques, uh, you know, my main target now is uh, Qatar and uh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, excellent plan. I mean, obviously, Maximilian have a strategic expansion plan to be present in all uh, the Gulf uh, region, and uh, this is this is uh, something good. Start was uh, as Mr. Maxim said from Dubai, from Dubai Mall. Mr. Maxim, my last question to you. Yeah. You know the, the world of jewelry, jewelries and and uh, emeralds, especially in your specialized. Yeah, yeah. This. we specialize and in you emeralds. You told me beautiful yeah. things before we, this interview yeah. that you select personally. Uh, uh, yeah. Sometimes the, the emeralds. Tell us, uh, uh, give us an idea. People would like to know about this beautiful uh, yeah. gemstone or beautiful stone, world of jewelry and and precious stones. Sorry. Yeah. Um, look, our uh, uh, we 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 specialize in on the color gemstones. You know, because a, a lot of different uh, global brands. You know, they do in uh, uh, business with diamonds. Okay. I love diamonds, you know, I love colorless diamonds, I love pink diamonds, blue diamonds. Yeah, the, yeah so the, the, color, the color gemstones uh, we're dealing with mostly, you know, uh, we're well known for, uh, as a specialist in emeralds. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, people, they, have, they should know that emeralds is not only Colombia, but it's also Afghanistan. It's a beautiful emeralds from Brazil, it's mm -hmm. a beautiful emeralds from uh, Zambia and um, also Russia. Uh, of course, the, the most expensive and the, the, the best known uh, emeralds in the world uh, from, uh, from the Musa mine in, uh, in Colombia. Wow. Yeah, the most expensive and most demanded one. But I love also Afghanistan, you know, they have a lot of luster, a lot of life. Um, um, and you go personally, uh, Mr. Uh, Maxine, you uh, search? We, we, we go personally, we search, we oh. travel. Uh, I'm a gem hunter. Wow. I do my hunting all around the world. And we have a lot of supplies, uh, you know, hundreds of supplies from uh, different uh, places of the world. Every day I answer, you know, hundreds of the calls, calls WhatsApps. Uh, they send me pictures, you know, etc., etc. Um, we are well known for, for rubies and sapphires. We know exactly, uh, and our customers, they understand the Kashmir sapphires, Burma sapphires, Sri Lanka sapphires, Madagascar sapphires. You know, it's all this different color, different quality, different geological certificates from America, from Switzerland. You know, the, this world is very rich, you know, I mean, in terms of uh, um, uh, the color and clarity and many other uh, things. Um, you know, we are well known for um, uh, for rubies and uh, we supply rubies from Burma, we supply rubies from uh, Madagascar, we supply rubies from Thailand, you know, from uh, Mozambique and uh, pigeon blood color, uh, vivid red color, you know, different colors and um, so you have different multiple sources, which is uh, something very important. Yeah. So for uh, sustainability and continuity of supply. Uh, well, sustainability is very important point, you know, for especially in, in our company, because uh, uh, myself, I'm doing a lot of uh, animal savings worldwide, globally. And uh, uh, we help in al almost every day, you know, to save dogs and cats from the street, you know. Uh, homeless animals, etc., etc. So we we buy a lot of uh, uh, color gemstones from the auctions, Sotheby's and Christie's and Bonhams and Phillips, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, also, it's helping to to save the planet, you know, because uh, 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 less people dig dig in the ground, you know, uh, to to find the color stones. But uh, year by year, I tell you, you know, my, my, my life experience, my expertise for the last 25 years, it's a, a less and less high quality, uh, top, top, uh, that's what in French they say in creme de la creme, uh, um, uh, gemstones, pressure gemstones, because uh, uh, it's a more and more and more uh, year by year rich people. The rich people, they demand only the top quality. 
you know, but top quality is always, you know, it's a less than 1% of the global market of the gemstones, you know, the top quality, yes. so. Excellent. Um, uh, Mr. Maxim, I, what, uh, yani we're coming to uh, an end to for this beautiful interview, but before we end this interview, uh, I would like to know, what is your motto or success uh, 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 pillar or what, what drives you for success or what is your uh, methodology of success in life? Look, uh, everything what I do, I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not searching for money, you know, I'm not running for money. And uh, we never had a uh, plan, I never had a plan, you know, to become a billionaire, you know, or a multimillionaire, you know, the super rich man, famous. You know, I, I try to be in the shadow, stay away, you know, I'm not a celebrity. We, 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 we do in business, so we do a lot of business with celebrities. We, most of our business we do in Middle East with the royal families. We know all the royal families of Qatar, Bahrain, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, UAE. And, um, um, Look, for me, very important, you know, I'm 52 years old and um, and uh, I'm not so uh, uh, fast and aggressive in business like I was in the age of 30, 35. And to me, it's very important, uh, uh, it's honesty and uh, taking care of the planet, taking care of the nature mm -hmm. and uh, to deliver a unique product to the end customers and also what is very important it's uh, uh, to build up the long time or maybe even the lifetime relationships with our clients to build up the trust in our brand because uh, uh, we're using different uh, marketing uh, uh, marketing tools for that for example one of one of the tool we, I think we are the only one um, we only one jewelry house in the world uh, who giving opportunities to our clients a lifetime lifetime uh, service mm -hmm. to get new design so every two years every three years Something. when our clients they want to change the design of the ring because it's already been seen many photo shoots Instagram Facebook Snapchat, you know, Pinterest, etc., etc., etc. So then, uh, you know, we change in cars almost yes. like uh, every three years, yes. every five years. So, so then, uh, if the clients they want to change the earrings, they want to change the bracelet, they want to change the uh, the ring, we're not pushing them to invest more and more and more. You know, we're giving them it's a lifetime uh, free of charge. You know, that's, design. That's we we give in design because we have thousands of the new designs. You know, uh, we have a vision for the next 10, 20 years how the jewelry industry, the jewelry fashion, is going to be changed. And then, uh, if you don't really make the the uh, most important investment in gemstones, you know, so the labor of the jeweler is worth approximately five to ten percent from the cost of the, of of the item. You know, so uh, the customer, the customer paying, uh, paying only for uh, redesign. Redesign means for, for the labor. And we use in the same gold, same platinum, you know, uh, that's about sustainability. Okay. The same stones, you know, we don't search from the market. And uh, our customers are very happy about this service. And nobody do it. No one, you know, tell me one brand who doing the same. No, no one doing, doing the same. Yeah. So oh, this is, thank you, this is an added value, uh, actually, information. Maximilian London is uh, contributing big time in sustainability uh, and towards uh, uh, the eco uh, green footprint. And uh, this is something important. Uh, Mr. Mr. Maxim uh, Arsinovich, uh, founder of British uh, uh, Jewelry House and Maximilian London, uh, we would like to thank you for this great interview. Yeah. We will have an interview on a monthly basis, so it's the first interview yeah. today, yeah. Uh, full of information. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure uh, people will like it, will also make it more info informational in, yeah. in the future, because I think uh, you have a lot of details and information that uh, would, uh, you would like to share with yeah. audience and people yeah. who will see yeah. this video. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. 
for being uh, uh, my guest today and we look forward to yeah. have you again. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.